how do I add multiple VAT rates into the same spreadsheet? Now, if you've been following along with this Excel accounts tutorial series, you'll know from the last tutorial how to calculate your VAT, the net from the gross and the gross from the net. But how do you actually apply it into a column into your account spreadsheet? This is what we're going to do now. Uh, I'm Simon, a real life Excel trainer, and this is Computer Tutoring. So this is the spreadsheet that we're going to be using and we're going to add in these multiple rates of VAT. Now currently in the UK there are three rates of VAT due to the recent pandemic. Uh, there's the 20% rate, 5% rate and 0% rate. And we're going to look at adding them into this spreadsheet. So I'll give you the link if you want to follow along. Now the first thing that we're going to do is insert a column to add the multiple rates. So I'm going to go up to right click on column C. So you see here I've right clicked on column C and I can go down to and click on insert just there and that will insert a column to the left. And in this one here I'm going to type in VAT rate. Now what you can do is you can just type in the values. You can type in I got 20% for doing uh, this is Mr. Bush's roses and 5% for gloves and 5% for weed killer. Now I just got to say that um, I wouldn't take this as gospel here. I would go and check in the HMRC website so you can actually get the correct rates for whatever business that you're uh, looking at. Now the problem is with typing them in is it's so easy to make mistakes. So I could, for instance, inadvertently type five in and leave the percent out when I press enter, then in the world of Excel, Excel will think that's 500%. Every one represents 100%. Or I could just type in an erroneous amount accidentally. So what I would like to do is to know how to add predetermined figures in Excel. It's a drop down list in which I can select the, far, the zero, five or 20%. And this is how you do it. First, let me just delete these percentage values here. And then I'm going to select all of the cells all the way down to, let's say 119 here, to which I want to apply these predetermined values. Then I'm going to click on the data tab here at the top. Just make sure I've got my little thing set there. There we go. So this data tab here at the top, give that a click. And then over on the right hand side, there's an option here that's called data validation. In fact, if I just hover over that and zoom in, oops, get it just right there. You can see it pops up data validation and give it a click. Great. So this little box here pops up, the data validation box. It's getting close. So you can see that. Now what I can do here is I can select list, which will allow me to put these predetermined values in here. Now I'm interested in three values. I'm going to type 0%, comma, 5%, comma, 20%. So now I can only type one of those three values into the cells that I've selected on my account spreadsheet. I click on OK. And now you can see I have this little drop down list to the right hand side. And if I click on this drop down list here, I can see I can choose 0, 5 or 20 percent. So what I can do now is if I I can select the 20 here from Mr. Bush's roses and say it was 5 percent for gloves. If I accidentally make a mistake and type an, a number in, you notice here I've got this error message here nice and clear and it doesn't allow me to type in an erroneous value. I'll either retry to type in a number in, which is obviously going to be wrong, cancel it, or choose a number from the drop down list, or I can type the number in if I want to as well. Now, I'm sure you don't want me to see uh, you <laughs> to watch me put in all these figures in. So I'm just going to pause it and then we'll come back and see how we can calculate the different VAT rates. So now you can see I've added that last one pruning there with the percentage rate. So how do I use this in the calculation? So let's go up to the top here. I'm just going to adjust the width of this, bring this in a little narrower. So say, for instance, this here is my gross. Let me type that in at the top. And I want to know how much was 20% of that, you know, before the 20% was added. So let's just right click and go to insert. And I'm going to click on here and type in here the VAT amount. Press enter here. So the calculation goes this way. And if you want to know how or a little bit more detail about how this works, then I'll give you the link so you can follow along. But basically, if you just want it to work, this is the calculation, equals E6 minus, e, open bracket, E6 divided by 
open another bracket, and then it'll be one plus, and then the 20% here. I can close off that one bracket, close off that bracket again, press enter, and I can see I've got the amount of eight pound 33. So fantastic, now we've got the amount of VAT that we need to pay. But that was the gross, we've got the VAT amount, now we need to work out the net. So let's insert a column here, and we're gonna type in the word net. And to work that out, it's gonna be a simple formula of taking the gross, minusing how much VAT was paid. We can see that that resulted amount is 41 pounds and 67 pence. Now I hear what you're asking, you're wondering how do I make a formula apply to a whole column in a spreadsheet? Well, if you want to make your formula apply to the whole column, you can use something that's known as autofill. So you notice here, if I select these two, because I want these two formulas to apply all the way down to the bottom row 119, what I'm going to do is just draw your attention to this little dot in the bottom left-hand corner. Oh, I'm moving around there. A right-hand corner. Sorry, get my left and the right. Right, correct. So as I hover my mouse over it, you see I get a solid black cross. You need to make sure you see that black cross. So if you see a cross with arrows on it, that's a no-no. If you see a white cross, that's a no-no. You want to make sure you see the solid black cross. And when you do, you can either drag all the way down to the bottom by clicking and holding your mouse or double click on the mouse. And notice what happens when I've double click, clicked. It's taken that formula and it's applied it to the entire column. Brilliant. So next thing I want to do is make this easier to read. I'm just going to color it. So if I go up to the top here, start on E2, drag all the way down to G119 like so. And then I'm going to go back to the home tab here at the top click on this little paint bucket drop down menu. Let's have a look and see what colors I've got. I'm gonna go for this sort of second down green. Green accent six, lighter 60%. There we go, and there we go. So I know that this part of the account, the green part is the money that I need to pay out. So you're wanting to know the answer to the question, how do I know how much VAT I have paid on a product? This is how you do it. So firstly, we're going to insert another column in here. Uh, let's do that uh, and let's have a look here and we're going to say uh, VAT paid so we know how much VAT paid now we're going to go to row seven because I haven't got anything in row six and I just want to show you it working and then we can copy that formula down to the down the entire column so let's just zoom in here get really close so you can see the formula so again uh, if you need to know more details I'll give you the link of how this works but it's exactly the same as the other one so start off with an equal sign, click on D7, and then we're going to take away D7 divided by, and then it will be one add and whatever the VAT rate is. There we go. So if you want to know how much of an amount is VAT or how much of gloves was VAT, I can press enter, I can see that of that five pounds, 24 pence of it is VAT. So now I can use the autofill to copy that formula up. And then if I go down, I want to autofill it down or copy the formula down to the entire column. Make sure I see the black cross and give my mouse a double click and it will automatically apply that all the way down to the bottom. So now I want to make this easier to read. I'm going to color this section blue. So just going to highlight from D2, go all the way down to D119. There we go and then click on my drop down list here. Let's get really close and I'm going to choose the second down blue there. That's good, excellent. Okay, looking good. So the next thing I need to do is start totaling up my expenses, how much VAT I can reclaim, how much I need to pay and maybe my gross and my net might be handy for the VAT man. All right, so let's just get rid of these. I wanna show you how I did them. So we'll get clear all of those totals. So I want to know expenses. I want to know the VAT to reclaim. Uh, I want to know the gross. I want to know the VAT to pay. And I'll have the net amount as well. So I'm basically going to use auto sum to sum up all of the values. So start off with an equal sign. 
type in the word S-U-M, and if you look very closely, you can see that Excel has automatically picked out the sum. If you're doing it this way, and the way I like to do it, is I press tab on the keyboard, and what it does is it completes the formula, puts it in capitals, and puts a nice little bracket. It's all ready for me to select my expenses column. So let's do that. So if I select my expenses column all the way down to 119, and then press enter to finish, and I can see my expenses are 72 pounds and 95p. Okay, so let's just do the same with the VAT amount. So equals SUM tab. And then I can copy all the way this, this down here. And I'm pretty much going to do this for each one of these here. The same with the gross equals SUM tab. And then we just add up the gross here. Press enter to finish. And then the VAT to pay. Um, some tab and then and drag all the way down. Notice when I get to the bottom, the next thing I do, when, after I've highlighted uh, cell 119 or G119, I just press enter on the keyboard. I don't have to go back up to the top, it will do it for me. I do have to scroll up a little bit and then I can see that, uh, these amounts here. Great, and the last thing, the net, the formula will be basically taking the gross or uh, subtracting the VAT to pay from the gross and I've got the net amount. So there we go. That's totaling up the uh, VAT that you can reclaim and the VAT to pay. We're nearly done. The last thing we need to do is update the running total formula. What do I mean? What's wrong with it? Well, if I double click here, you can see that the formula is taken into account across these cells here, and it's going to muck it up with the expense and the VAT paid. I basically want to have the running total running on the expenses and the gross. So what I'm going to do with this is just highlight the formula and backspace back to the bracket. Uh, I'm going to do the gross first, so click on F6. And then all I'm going to do is type a colon on the keyboard and close the bracket. And you can see if I come into the formula just here that it's got F6 to F6, which seems really peculiar. Why would you add up the same cell? Well, that's because we're going to copy that formula down the entire column. And I want the first part of this formula. So basically, I want this part of the formula. Oops, sorry, I zoomed in here. Let's really close. You can see that there to remain fixed. So how do I do that? So you remember, I can use the dollar sign. So let's just get back there. If I do shift and the dollar sign, it will fix the first part of the formula so that when I copy that formula down the entire column, then it will be F6 to F6, F6 to F7, F6 to F8, and so on. And I'll show you a bit more about that after I've completed the formula. So now what I need to do is I need to just add a little bit on here. So I'm just going to add and then sum, open bracket, and I want it to sum the expenses one, which is D6. Type in a colon and close that off. And I'm going to pop a little dollar in the front bit there because I want to fix this part here. Great. So let's just control and enter to enter that formula. And then what I can do is I can double click to auto fill that down. So first things first, let's just explain a little bit about that dollar sign just very briefly. Uh, I cover it in, the, in an earlier video as well. But if you can see, I got this is F6 to F6. But because of the dollar sign, when I go to the next one, this will be F6 to F7, D6 to D7. And if I go down here, F6 to F8, D6 to D8. You see the first part of the formula is fixed. The second part is relative. So you can copy that formula down. Uh, well, that formula will apply to the entire column there. And as you can see, the running total is working fine. You can see I've got the 50 pounds here. I've spent the five pounds here and it ends up with 45. And it absolutely looks great. And the last thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to do the, the white and the gray alternate rows. So I'm just going to click on, I've clicked on 45 and I'm going to choose a gray color. Yeah, it looks like it's matching. I highlight these two here. I click on Format Painter at the top and Control, Shift, Down Arrow. Quickest way to get to the bottom. And as you can see, it does alternate, alternating rows, white and gray, white and gray, all the way to the bottom. Looking fab. Okay, now you know how to add predetermined figures in Excel by means of drop down lists. You can also answer the question, how do I add different VAT rates into the same spreadsheet? You also know how to make a formula apply to a whole column in a spreadsheet. And finally, you also know how to work out how much of an amount is VAT. If you've got anything out of this Excel accounts tutorial, please give us a thumbs up. Give me a thumbs up. It means so much. 
Uh, our next tutorial video will be looking at summary data. So we've got the totals at the top here, know how much VAT to pay and our expenses, etc. But we don't know how much we got from Mr. Bush or each of our customers or how much money that we've made in a particular day or month or year. And that's what we're going to look at next time. So make sure you click on that subscribe button and click on that notifications button so you don't miss a thing. And if you're on Twitter or on Instagram, please reach out to us. It will be great to hear from you. So I'm just hoping that everybody's keeping safe and I want to say thank you so much for watching.